basic driving tip segment of the Red Cat Racing Pit Stop How-To Video Series. I'm Matt LeMay, and in this segment, I'll go over some basic driving tips, including the effects of adrenaline, perspective, throttle and brake control, driver focus, and tips to help you jump successfully. Once you fire up your Red Cat Racing Nitro vehicle, it's natural to get excited. Throw some onlookers expecting a show into the mix, and it's inevitable. Your adrenaline is going to be pumping. While this is exciting and thrilling, it's also the perfect scenario for the driver to make a mistake. We all want to impress our friends and spectators. I mean, that's a big part of the hobby. But it's important to be comfortable driving your Red Cat Racing Nitro vehicle before showing off for others. Once you're comfortable with the vehicle's behaviors, well, you're less likely to get nervous while displaying what incredible skills you have and the awesome piece of machinery your Red Cat Racing Nitro vehicle is. Now, being comfortable behind the wheel will also help you avoid oversteering and large throttle inputs usually caused by adrenaline-filled shaky hands. The most important driving tip is don't get nervous. Small, smooth control inputs are what are needed to achieve driving greatness. Learning to be smooth and staying calm will greatly improve your driving skills. Vehicle orientation can take some getting used to. See, steering controls seem reversed when driving towards yourself. Try to imagine yourself sitting inside the vehicle at all times while keeping speeds at safe levels. Use a large open area to practice driving in large figure eight patterns. Create a track using small cones or plastic cups. Once you've mastered the figure eights in one direction, well, try going in the opposite direction. Getting used to this reverse orientation effect will happen quickly with practice. Becoming smooth on the brakes and throttle will help keep the vehicle controllable at all times. Let off the throttle while entering a turn and gradually apply smooth throttle while exiting the turn. This transfers the weight to the appropriate tires for higher traction throughout the turn. Now once you find that point where the vehicle wants to spin out, staying just below that point will help to produce fast stable cornering. Now it's a good idea to look slightly ahead of the vehicle, allowing your peripheral vision to track for upcoming obstacles. See, focusing on the vehicle will force quick decisions and defensive driving habits. Focusing slightly ahead of your Red Cat Racing Nitro vehicle allows more reaction time and develops good offensive driving habits. Scanning the terrain for obstacles and conducting a walk-around inspection before driving will allow you to select the best lines, drive faster, and handle your vehicle like a pro. If there's one thing most RC drivers want to do, it's jump. Jumping can be fun as well as costly if not done correctly. When first attempting to jump your Red Cat Racing RC vehicle, start small, working your way up to larger jumps. And touching all four tires down at the same time is the best way to land. Red Cat Racing RC vehicles are controllable in the air as well as on the ground. Now we'll keep it simple by going over throttle inputs. We'll cover airborne steering in an upcoming Red Cat Racing Pit Stop How-To Video Series Advanced Driving Tips. Because of the tire's gyroscopic effect, applying throttle while in the air will raise the nose of the vehicle, and applying brake will lower the nose. Now the larger the tires, the greater this gyroscopic effect. Generally, letting off the throttle at the base of the jump while allowing momentum to launch the vehicle will in most cases deliver a positive jumping experience. Now while in the air, slight throttle or brake can be applied. Now you'll need to think fast, so getting used to the vehicle before attempting to jump is a must. Remember, too much throttle could send the vehicle nose up, causing it to land on the rear bumper, and too much brake could send the vehicle into a cartwheel or worse, a nosedive. Now, You'll get used to the amount of control inputs needed, but remember to start small, always land on the tires, and low jumps are safer than high jumps. Jumping is fun, but aside from hitting something, it's the easiest way to break your RC vehicle, especially landing 10 foot jumps on one tire or upside down. 
Now, it's a good idea to stock up on some small spare parts like A-arms and staring knuckles before attempting monster jumps. Well, this concludes the basic driving tip segment of the Red Cat Racing Pit Stop How-To Video Series. I'm Matt LeMay, reminding you to have fun and don't forget your Red Cat.